All right, welcome back everybody to our third in a series, occasional series of nerd block versus loot crate comparisons. So on the uh, left hand side, we've got our nerd block from March. The, uh, the big item as usual is the t-shirt. The Darth Vader recruitment join me, which is estimate based on the shirt punch price of $17. And that, that's one thing we should touch on. I mean, the shirt punch price is always quoted as $10. It's come up in the comments a couple times about how certain things are not that expensive compared to what we're estimating. Well, we've arbitrarily decided that certain things, the bigger item, something maybe like $10 or more, will include the cost of shipping because that's really how much it'll cost to get it to your door. And the smaller items, we're not adding shipping because, you know, it just doesn't seem to make sense. I, and it's totally arbitrary, but that's just what we've decided to do. So that's $17. We've got the Simpsons Mini Collectible. We've got Kid Rock. And that's, uh, depending on how you want to price it individually, we've seen it for $7 on Amazon. And as part of a larger display pack with more of them together, you average it out to about $4. The Star Trek Skelly Treks, and uh, thanks for the help, that's the Klingon Commander. That's uh, about $3. You've got the Assassin's Creed action figure, which is $15 in the States, and if we're looking at pricing it in uh, uh, Canada, it's about uh, 26 bucks. Then we've got the Wacky Packages, which is about 3 bucks. And we've also got in the back there the Legend of Zelda, the blind ball, which we've got. So if we look at the total value, it's a little different between whether you're a, a Canadian or an American ordering. An American would be getting about 50, 53 bucks worth of value out of that and paying 30 bucks. And a Canadian would be getting somewhere north of $60 value. And so the premium and value over the cost for an American is only about 70%. But for a Canadian, it's more than 100%, so more than doubling the, the value. Okay? So that's for the March Nerd Block. We slide right over to the Loot Crate box. And one thing I want to say, too, it's interesting because there are a lot more exclusive items, so things that you can't get anywhere else. And that makes it really hard to do any kind of pricing. So we're going to talk a little bit about some of the reasons why we've assigned certain prices to certain things. So we've got a really nice looking Titanfall t-shirt. So even without playing the game, you can appreciate the design and just how cool it looks. I'd be happy to wear this shirt, even though I don't play the game. We're assigning that a value of $17. Just to be fair, I mean, I, I'm sure there's other sites that charge 15 bucks, other sites 25 bucks, whatever. But in terms of just the estimate, you know, again, arbitrary because that's the same price we're assigning the, sh uh, the value to the Nerd Block T-shirt. You've got a wristband here, Titanfall wristband, and as actually, it's an Attack on Titan wristband. I'm oh, pretty sorry. sure. An Attack on Titan wristband. And the difficulty with something like this is, because it's exclusive, I couldn't find anywhere that would sell it to get an idea of the price. So in this case, I took a look on eBay, and people were selling this wristband from their loot crate. And there was maybe a low price of 3 bucks, high price of 7 bucks. So I'm giving this one an estimate of 4 bucks. We've got a lanyard here. Okay, again, totally exclusive. How do we decide on value? And I arbitrarily assigned this in our opening video a value of $3. And part of the reason for this is we'll compare it to other lanyards. So first thing you look at is there's no safety release. So as a point of comparison, I've got a lanyard here that actually does have a safety release. And for those people who don't know what that means, it's the idea is that somebody potentially could grab you by the lanyard and use it to choke you. But if they're grabbing you and it's got this on it, It'll release. Now, the other thing is, you can see they actually have similar kind of hardware, and it's actually relatively cheap. If you want to look at something else where you're getting a bit more sort of quality hardware, you've got this lobster clip, 
okay, and uh, a buckle for a quick detach. And if you look at the material on this, it's relatively smooth, thin. It's okay, but it's not as high quality as something like. Did I forget it? Yeah, I had another one, and I totally forgot it, but... Alright, so this, it's more of a, a thick weave, and it's tougher. So, all these are kind of promotional lanyards, and some are a little bit nicer than the others. This is probably not the kind that you buy uh, in a store, it's more the kind that you can order and have your own kind of logos and stuff put on it, so that's why we gave it a sort of a low-end kind of value of $3. You've got a Attack on Titanfall exclusive fridge magnet. We gave that a value of a dollar. There's a strategy guide for Titanfall, and that's easy because it actually does have a ten dollar value. We've got the manga, Attack on Titan. Although there's a published a list price of ten ninety nine US and eleven ninety nine Canadian, we were able to find it for sale on Amazon.com for $6.20 and it was available for, I can't remember, it was maybe 10 something on Amazon.ca and this is the other point of comparison, even though I've assigned this a value of uh, $9.40 American, the reasoning behind that is we're paying for the nerd block in US dollars so whatever Canadian dollar estimate of the value we're getting, I'm going to con convert that to uh, U.S. dollars to make it a more fair comparison, and, and that was a mistake that we were making at the beginning, and we're trying to fix that to get a better comparison. And so we are left with the button, the, ex the Loot Crate exclusive button that they've been doing for the last few blocks, plus the candy, and the candy that was. There's the wrapper, and it was actually quite good. I didn't mind it. Nice taffy. So that gives us a total value, depending on whether you're American of 40 to 20, so you're getting uh, about 110% premium of value over cost compared to a $45 value to Canadian, so you're getting just over a 50% premium cost. So clearly the, the comparison still holds where it looks like Nerd Block is a better value for Canadians and the Loot Crate is a better value for Americans. Okay? So the oh, one thing we forgot to mention last time, and we want to thank everybody who's actually used our affiliate links. We've had apparently five uh, sales of Nerd Blocks through our affiliate link, and one through Loot Crate, and much appreciated. And that's another point of comparison of Nerd Block. The last video we had had a, a, a few comments about how they're different, and one thing that's not as obvious is that the affiliate programs for for both of them are quite different, and both leave a little bit to be desired. The Nerd Block, for each subscription that is purchased through your link, you get 10% or about $2 back. The problem is, okay, well, the benefit is that it's, it's in cash, it's not uh, a credit or anything, but the problem is it actually doesn't pay out until you hit $50. So we've got about $10 sitting in our affiliate account, but it won't actually mean anything unless we get another... 20 people to subscribe. Which is quite unlikely. Very, yeah, exactly. And the Loot Crate box is more generous. They give you $5. It's a credit towards the next month. However, if your subscription lapses, so if for a month you decide you don't want to have it, there's something that you don't like, if your subscription lapses, you don't get that credit. Which is kind of a drag. So, just uh, a thank you for the people who use our links and uh, just a little bit more information. So at, at the end of the video we've got something a little bit different, sort of like a bonus unboxing, not a recommendation or something cool to see, or maybe it is something cool to see depending on whether you like it or not. But as uh, a surprise for my cameraman, it's not a surprise for me because I actually ordered it so I know exactly what we're getting. But it's to me it's an example of the kind of thing that would be cool in either a nerd block or a loot crate that doesn't have to rely on a specific kind of fandom to enjoy it. So something that anybody who's geeky could enjoy. So, without further ado... Oh, actually, this is a good example of something that's potentially geeky that people could enjoy. It's uh, a keychain attachment. It's got the... something that you can twist certain different size uh, nuts, can opener, and a box opener.
with an edge that you can use as a flathead screwdriver. Okay, so here you go. There's the free monkey breath. Free monkey breath. And a spork knife. Oh, it's actually got a container. I was wondering why the box oh, was so big. Oh, that's actually really cool. Yeah. I thought so too when I saw it. So this was available uh, at uh, Think Geek, and they had, uh, it's a clearly child proof. Proof against, oh, there's tape. Proof against this child. So they, their, their price was $10 each, but they had to buy one, get 50% off. So $15 plus shipping for both of them. And when I saw the description, this actually looks pretty cool because unlike a lot of other sporks, it folds down small. It was, the review said it was pretty comfortable in hand. It actually is. It's a nice substantial size. It's got the tines for a fork, really tiny ones. Mildly serrated edge for a knife. The most useful part is a spoon, can opener, carabiner. What it's missing that I've seen in some other things is a can opener. That I've seen those um, field ration eating utensils or whatever. But yeah, so this would be the kind of thing that I think would be cool to get in a this box. This is like, like a Swiss Army fork. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, not too bad. So, thank you for watching. Uh, chances are we're going to have one more comparison video, but after that, there's a good chance I think we're going to be discontinuing our Loot Crate uh, subscription because it's really clearly after a few months of ordering both uh, a better value in uh, Nerd Block for Canadians like us. So, thanks.